Welcome. We are going to start our exploration into statistics. We're starting with module four because modules one, two, and three were introductory pieces of information where you're talking about welcome to statistics, what is statistics about? This is where we get into actual content. Now remember, in OLI, there is content that is going to be covered that is not covered in the guided notes. Those are research questions, learn by doings, or different types of things that you were doing that are interactive in OLI. I might talk about some of those questions here, but they will not all be covered here. There are things that are gonna be in these videos that are not covered in OLI. For instance, we're gonna talk about different types of sampling next section, and they're not necessarily types of sampling that OLI focuses on, but they're things that I think are important. The way in which you should use the guided notes is you would want to either print it out or have it up on a device. I'm going to be using my iPad and I'll be handwriting notes on my OneNote. And you could go through the OLI module guides and then come back and try and do these guides and watch the videos. You don't want to watch the videos without having looked at anything because you need the information that I'm going to be talking about. If you just watch my information, you're not necessarily gonna know what I'm talking about. So you definitely wanna start with the modules and then you can go back and watch the videos. You can do the guided notes as you're going through the modules. Some things might not necessarily make 100% sense until you hear something from me on the video, but you'll determine what works best for you. Um, just maybe try out one way and then try out another and see kind of what fits for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about definitions. And what's the population? That's the first definition we wanna talk about. And when I first started teaching statistics, uh, I thought that population was the population of the United States or the population of a city. I didn't really think that population had a meaning other than just of people. But a population is the entire group of individuals or objects that we wanna study. And objects are not necessarily people, they are inanimate objects. I could be talking about people. I could be talking about AirPods. I could be talking about Post-it notes. Those are all different things that I could be talking about. A sample is taken from that population. So we define a sample as part of the population. If I'm talking about AirPods, the population would be all AirPods produced by Apple. And the sample could be a thousand that I've randomly selected throughout the world because AirPods are not just produced in our little town. I could be talking about AirPods produced in Apple stores in North America. I could be talking about AirPods used by teenagers. I can get different populations, even though I'm talking about one particular thing. So it's important that you pay attention to the information that's given to determine what the population is that you're speaking about. How do you identify what the population is versus what's the sample if I give you a scenario. Well, if I said to you, I took a random sample of a thousand AirPods from Apple stores in North America, the population is then going to be all AirPods in North America because I'm taking a sample only from North America. If I said I took a thousand or maybe even a million, I don't know how many um, AirPods are produced, but I took um, a million AirPods from the world and the population would be all AirPods in the world. So it's all in the wording. I use this word infer, which is like inference. An inference is something that we perform in statistics. It's a large part of what our statistics is about, is we're taking information from a sample and we are inferring to the greater population. 
that's what we do. We gather information so that we can use it towards um, to reference the entire population or to make conclusions about the population. Now, sometimes your population is given. I could say of the 5,000 students at Napa Valley College, I took a random sample of 100. The sample would be 100 Napa Valley College students. The population would be the 5,000 Napa Valley College students. Sometimes you don't have that information and you say, you read it from the question. Like the question is, I have a random sample of a thousand post-it notes from staple stores in the country. The population is then all post-it notes from all the staple stores in the country. And so it's important that you are specific. You can't just say all post-it notes. That's not true. It was only from the staple stores and it was only from our country. You have to make sure you're specific about what the population is when you're trying to determine that information. A variable is what we plan to measure. It's the information that we are collecting from each individual or um, object in the sample. When we are writing a research question, it's important that you're including important information. There are three things that you should be including in a well-designed research question. The first thing is the population that we're talking about, and then the variable we wish to measure, and the characteristic that goes with that variable. So for instance, if I'm talking about the percentage of something, that would be a proportion. If I'm talking about the average lifespan of the, let's say I wanted to know um, the average lifespan of AirPods. That would be an average. It's a numerical characteristic would be the hours that the AirPod lasted for the battery life. Um, I could do a proportion, like a yes or no, like does my post-it note have a decent or not? Um, that's a yes or no question. Uh, those are the types of things that we wanted to include. In this class, we will focus on proportions and means. Proportions are percentages and means are averages. And so we will spend a lot of time trying to differentiate, is this question about averages? Is this question about percentages or proportions? That Those words should become very familiar in your vocabulary. Head on over to the next video where we will talk about more definitions and get into um, observations versus experiments and other things like that.